Okay, now we look at uh, example 2. Okay. So, design a synchronous counter to count the following sequence. So, based on this example, uh, it uh, already gives to you in form of transition state diagram, right? So, you just proceed to the next step. So, actually, in designing synchronous counter uh, circuit, okay, synchronous counter circuit, uh, you have three main uh, steps. Okay, so the first step, you need to derive your oscillation table. Second, you need to simplify the J and K by using K map. And the last step, you need to draw your counter circuit. Okay, so you have three main steps. So, based on this example, so we move to our first step, which is uh, derive the oscillation table. Okay, so this is the oscillation table. Okay. Uh, because uh, your transition state diagram, uh, <coughs> sorry, the largest value is 7. Okay, so when you convert 7 in binary, you need to have at least 3 variable, right? Uh, which is uh, 7 in binary is 1, 1, 1. So that's why you need to have 3 variables. So based on that uh, situation, also that's why your present state, you have A, B, and C. Yeah, because you have three bits, right? So when you have three variable, so you have eight value or eight combination of zero and one. Okay, and then you have eight decimal numbers start from zero until seven. Okay, so you just list down based on the sequence of the number. Okay, that for present state. Okay, and then for your next state. Okay, you need to have three variable also to represent the next state, which is A, B, and C, the uh, plus with the apostrophe. And then input for J and K, so you have three pair of J and K. Okay, J, A, K, A, J, B, K, B, J, C, K, C. Okay. So the value of your next state okay, is actually referring to your state diagram. Okay, so this state diagram. Okay, for example, your present state 0. So you refer to this uh, state diagram. Your present state is 0. So 0, your next state for 0 is 1. Okay, so 0 to 1. So 1 in binary is 0, 0, 1. So now, your present state is 1. So what is your next state for 1? Okay, so next state for 1 is 3. Okay, so 3. So 3 in binary is 0, 1, 1. Okay, and then uh, you can find the next state value based on the present state here or you just follow the state diagram. Okay, so if you follow the state diagram, so the next value is 3 for your present state. Okay, so you start with 3. So what is the next uh, state for 3? So the next state for 3 is 5. Okay, 3 is 5. So 5 in binary is 101. One. Okay, so now our present state is 5. So 5. So what is the next state for 5? So next state for 5 is 7. So 7 in binary is 111. One, one. Okay, and then next 7. So 7. So what is the next state for 7? So next state for 7 is 3. So 3. So 3 in binary is 0, 1, 1. Okay. So you have another 3 values. Okay. Which is 2, 4 and 6. Okay. So the present state 2. Okay. Next state for 2 is 1. 1. Okay. So 1 in binary is 0, 0, 1. Same goes with 4 and 6. Okay, so next state for 4 also 1, next state for 6 also 1, okay, which is 0, 0, 1. So done with the next state. So input for J and K, you must remember the excitation table, okay, J, K, excitation table. Okay, so example uh, A, okay, so to find the value of J, A, K, A, so you need to uh, compare between present state A with next state A. Okay, so example 0, 0. 
present state A0, next state A0. Okay, so 0 to 0 is equal to 0x. Okay, 0 to 1 is equal to 1x. Okay, 1 to 1 is equal to x0. And then 1 to 0 is actually equal to x1. So this one you must remember. Okay, 0, 0 is 0x. Zero okay, 0, 0, 0x. Zero okay, 0, 0, 0x. Zero okay, 0, 1. Okay, 0, 1 is 1x. 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 Okay, uh, citation uh, table JK flip flop. Okay, so after you complete your citation table, you proceed with the next step, which is simplifying the J and K. Okay, so you have a six uh, K map. Okay, because you have a uh, three pair of J and K. Okay, this J A K A J B K B J C and K C. Okay, so the value of uh, K okay, map here, okay, you map based on this three table. Sorry, based on the assertion table. Okay. So you just map all the values and then you uh, look the value. Okay, for example, for JA, okay, you have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, x, 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 x. Okay. So you map 1. A1 at the cell number 3. Okay, so to mapping the value of J and K, you must refer to the present state for the cell number. Okay, cell number 3, so here cell number 3. And then X at cell number 4, 5, 6, and 7. This is 4, okay, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And then you look. Okay, when you look, okay, you have the value of B and C. Okay, same goes with your KA. So this is your KA. So you map your value of your KA to your K map, and then you look. So when you look, you have B plus C bar. Okay, and then continue with JB, KB, JC, and KC. So uh, that's why you must remember the K map. Okay, so the K map is actually the one of the important uh, chapter, okay, because you will uh, use again in this chapter, which is in chapter 8. Okay, and our last step is actually drawing the counter circuit. So, this is the counter circuit. For this example, I draw the counter circuit by using circuit maker. So, that is a slightly different okay, between the previous example. Okay, because based on this uh, counter circuit there is no triangle that right because so it uses cp clock pulse okay so you can use cp or you can uh, replace by triangle so i'm okay with that yeah and also i'm using this uh, clock yeah so for the simple one you just draw this symbol yeah this symbol yeah right so this is the expression that you get from your truth table. Okay, so J A B and C, K K A B plus C bar and so on. Okay? So you just draw, uh, just like a previous example, but now you have uh, gates. Okay, using gate because uh, if you refer to J A, so J A is equal to B and C. So this is your J A, right? B and C. So meaning that your J A must be connected. With your end okay, okay, have two input. The first input is B, so this is your B, and then this is your C. Okay, so that's why I told you the drawing uh, part for the counter circuit is like slightly similar with the combinational logic circuit. Okay, so you just draw just like you draw for your combinational logic circuit. 
Okay, and then next Ka. So Ka is B plus C bar. So the, the important part that, that you must remember for drawing counter circuit, there is no not gate. You cannot have not gate in your counter circuit. Why? Because you have already have not value for each variable. Okay, so if you refer to the flip flop. Okay, so previously, if you draw the flip flop, you have J K Q Q bar S R and triangle, right? And then Q, for example, this is A, right? So you have Q and Q bar. So Q is A. Q bar is actually representing A bar. Okay, same goes with B. So you have Q. Q bar. So Q bar here is actually representing B bar. So here is A bar. Okay, and then here is C bar. So that's why you don't have to use the not gate. You cannot. Okay, you cannot use not gate because you already have not value. So that's why for Ka, Ka equal to B plus C. So you need to use all, right? So that's why here you have all. Okay, so here you have all. Okay, first value is B. Okay, you connect with this line because previous line already have B line. So this is B line. So this is B. So that's why the first all is B. Okay, and then the second value of all is C bar. So this is C bar. So that's why you draw this line and connect with C bar. Okay. And then JB. Okay, JB is equal to C. So you already have C here. So you just draw and then connect to this line. Okay. And then KB. A bar plus C bar. So you need to have uh, all. Okay. So this is A bar. And then this is C bar. You already have C bar line, right? So you just connect to that one. And then JC equal to 1, KC equal to 0. Because I draw this counter circuit using circuit maker, so that's why I need to draw or use the, the correct symbol or the correct device. Okay, so this is the device that represents 1. Okay, or uh, you, you just can uh, put value 1. Okay, uh, so meaning that for this one. Okay, Q, Q bar, S, R, okay. So, this is C, right? So, uh, J, C equal to 1. So, this is J, C. You just can draw like this, eh? J, C equal to 1. Okay. And then, K, C equal to 0. Okay, so J, C equal to 1. K, C equal to 0. So, this also can be accepted, okay, for your drawing. Okay, you just put the value of 1 and then value of 0. Or you can draw uh, by using the similar symbol for your circuit maker. If you remember the symbol. Okay, uh, so this is a symbol for 0 and then this is a symbol for 1. Okay, so this is the second example that uh, we have 3 variables. Okay, so you have 3 steps. Okay, citation table, k-map and counter circuit.